Okay, good afternoon again. I hope you're not tired of my face yet. Okay, this is the second time, but um, I have to make it work for you. Here. Okay, so this afternoon, uh, this morning I told you that uh, in the Philippines, our goal is to reach zero waste in the year 2020. And uh, how do we do this? We have one component of our program, and we call it our IEC. Okay. In Mother Earth Foundation, it's an NGO based in the Philippines, and we believe that whatever good laws we have, whatever good programs we have, whatever uh, implementation or enforcement that we have, without education, all of this will not be useful. Because you can scare people, you can scare them with your penalties, you can scare them with, uh, with your laws, but if you don't, they don't understand why they have to do it, it won't be successful. That's why we believe that education is the key. Hopefully they got the translation right. Okay? Google is very effective if, if we got it right. Okay. In, in these programs, we have five pillars in community environmental education. This is what we use. This is what we focus on. Okay? These are the five pillars. Number one is the barangay, which is the lowest level of government before the city or the municipality. Next, we have the civil society organizations. We have, these are the women's group, youth groups, and senior citizens. The next one is the school, businesses, and the last one is the church. Why do we involve the church? Because the Philippines is 97% Catholic. And almost everyone go to church every Sunday. So it's hard for us to go to the houses. But if the priest, the priest is uh, sold to the idea of zero waste, then in his homilies, in his lectures, he can include about concepts of zero waste. That's why we include the church. The businesses, very crucial. Then the civil society organizations and the barangay or the government, the lowest level of government in the Philippines. So for all the four, what we do is we conduct house-to-house -house information campaign where we knock on their houses to tell them, what they're supposed to do, what's the law on proper waste management. But for this afternoon, I'd like to focus a bit, and all of this is working towards our zero waste goal of 2020. And I'd like to focus a bit on one area, the school, and this is what I would like to share to you. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some ideas on this one and implement this. There were questions a while ago on the role of universities, but this one, our next project is the Green School, Blue School Project, or the Green School, Blue School Network. Okay, this is focusing primarily on primary education, elementary and high school. It has three components. The first one is teacher training on environmental education. The second component is the establishment of Mother Earth Kids Club in every school in the Philippines. And the last one is a rating system. If you have one-star hotel, five-star hotels, we also want to rate schools on their initiatives on zero waste and in the environment in general. Okay, so the first component is teacher training. We believe that teachers are an important tool. If we want to reach 10 million students, for example, we have to go to the teachers because if we reach one teacher, we'll reach 200 students every year. Because in the Philippines, one teacher handles 200 students every year. So it's a faster way for us to reach in per students. So we have two programs. The first two are actually US-based programs that we adopted in the Philippines. The first one is Project Water Education for Teachers, which uses the water as a window to the world. And the second one is Project Learning Trees about biodiversity, animals, the forest, all these environmental issues. And the last one, of course, is Zero Waste. So these are our three banner programs for the teachers. We believe that whether you're teaching science, PE, music, arts, English, no matter what subject you're teaching, you can teach about the environment. For example, for mathematics, they'll teach about fraction or percentage. At the same time, they'll teach about the environment by uh, giving, for example, waste characterization. How many percentage of our waste is residual waste? So teaching about percentage for mathematics, but at the same time, using environmental concepts on zero waste. These are some of our trainings that we do. These programs are hands-on, minds-on. It's not just lecture, it's experiential for the students, for the teachers. So these are some of the activities. Here, for example, the students or the teachers act out as a river full of trash. Okay? So what would happen to this river to demonstrate point source and non-point source pollution, to demonstrate carrying capacity of the river? For, for these solid waste that's being thrown in the river. So these are all over, there are more than 200 activities that the teachers can use in their classroom to teach about their current subject and include the environment in their lesson. Another example, teachers going, undergoing through the trainings as part of their green school, blue school project. Number two component is establishment of Mother Earth Kids Club in every school, okay? The different components of this project is number one, we train students to be heroes, echo heroes. They want to be involved in the community, then we give them the training, the proper tool that they can go out and involve the community. The second is we give regular workshops. So every month we go to the schools, to these clubs in every school. We get volunteers from colleges, and then they give workshops on environmental education, on waste, on zero waste. 
We also give out newsletter and a website for kids where they can play at the same time and learn about the environment. And a, just to, as an incentive for the kids, it's a membership discount card that if you are a member of this club, you go to the workshops every month, you learn about the environment, but if you want to buy books in the bookstore, you get a 10% discount. Just encourage everyone to join, okay? So these are some of our trainings for the teachers, uh, for the students rather. These are young kids, they're going to workshops. Some workshops for kids, and this is demonstrating shared resource, working together for a shared resource. This is teaching kids how to segregate. So we give them a sample of waste, and they have different areas where they can put this waste, and then later we'll process it after. This is part of the workshop that we give to the students every month as a member of the Mother Earth Kids Club. And lastly, this is one activity where they act out. For example, we can tell students that, you know, when you throw your trash in the river, the river will die or the fishes will die. But what is it really for them? What we do is we make them act out. For example, imagine you are fishes. You are swimming gracefully in the river. Then suddenly, people started throwing trash in the river. What would happen to the fishes? And the kids would act out, I can't breathe. You know? And then after we ask them, how would you, how would you think the fishes would feel if you keep on throwing rivers, uh, trash on the river? So it's all experiential for them. The kids are able to process the experience as real for them. No? For example, in the river, the river is the house or the home of the fishes. If they will lose their houses, how would you feel if you lose your houses? So we make it more personal for them using these activities. And the last component of the Blue School, Green School program is the rating system. It's a guide for schools to rate their eco-friendly initiatives. So it's rank one to rank four. If you enter the program, you're rank one. There's a pride to that. But to reach rank five, you have to be a zero-waste school. Okay? You have to implement policies. You have to change what food you serve in your cafeteria. Definitely no junk foods packed in plastic, no straws, no plastic bottles. It's all reusable to reach level five. It's like a competition for all schools. We want to involve everyone. At the same time, we want to give them a benchmark where they can rate their initiatives in terms of implementation and incorporation of environmental concepts in their curriculum. Okay? So in these programs, we have five pillar um, topics or focus issues for 2010 to 2015. Number one is water issues. Number two is biodiversity. Number three is zero waste. Number four is climate change. And number five is safe food. Okay? But of course, these are all interconnected. So if you're able to come up with these activities, the school is able to display this banner in front of their school, that they are part of the Green School, Blue School Network. And what we hope to achieve is that all schools in the Philippines will be part of this network. Because by then, if all schools are part of this network, no doubt we will reach our goal of a zero waste 2020. Okay? But before that, I'd like to share, was this program effective? Was this program helpful? Uh, in one of our adopted community, we were knocking on houses to tell them, this is the law, this is what we're supposed to do. We met this wonderful lady. She told us, no, thank you, I'm not interested. And we said, why? She said, because my daughter is studying in this school, and they were taught what to do, and she told us what to do, and now it's a shame for us if we don't follow our daughter. Okay? They say you can't teach old dogs new, tri new tricks, but apparently you can if you go through their children. So I will repeat again, education is the key. We can fear them with our laws, but unless they identify why they have to do it, then it won't be successful. So again, education is the key. And we start them young. In our experience, it has proven effective because we can't go to the parents because they're wor working, but the students are captive audience. They're at school. We go to the school. We reach one teacher. We reach 100 students, and, and our goal is to reach 5 million students in two years. And with this program, it is very possible. Again, possible. Zero waste. Zero waste is possible. Good afternoon.